Today, there are well over 7,000 rare and genetic diseases observed, and the odds are one out of 10 people are diagnosed with one. It could be you or someone you know. But where there is uncertainty, there is also hope. Global awareness and research efforts keep pushing medical boundaries, aiding in new discoveries and in the development of tools that can help ease the quality of life for patients and caregivers. Here to share some insight on some accessible at-home and acute care solutions for many suffering from conditions like cystic fibrosis and neuromuscular disease is Dr. Christopher Landon, Director of Pediatrics at the Ventura County Medical Center and advocate of Hill-Rom, a leading provider of medical technologies. Welcome, we are so excited to have you here. Oh, Julie, it's so, it's so great to be here. Well, I just wanna ask you in basic terms, what is a rare and genetic disease? Well, there's some 200,000 people in the United States. So this is a relatively rare condition. Some of them, like cystic fibrosis, there are only 30,000 patients in the United States with this disease. Mm. So about 80% of these diseases do have a genetic origin. We're looking now uh, at testing every baby at birth for uh, what their genetic potential is. Now, what are some of the most common physical challenges associated with these, these diseases? Well, the hard part, you know, as a parent, you, you know what it's like. It's hard enough getting your daughters dressed in the morning. Now try adding in uh, feeding through a tube into the stomach directly, uh, literally beating the mucus out of them as if they're unable to cough or they're, they're drowning in their own, own secretions. Uh, vitamins, time in the hospital, time spent away from your family, time in intensive care units, life and death, it's, un, it's, it's unimaginable. A, a good friend of mine, Boomer Esiason, I was a sportscaster, I watched him go through this with his son where he had to put him on the board and beat the mucus out. How difficult is this for families? Well, it's really hard. And, and some of these families have two and three children, for example, with cystic fibrosis. Mm -hmm. I have a family now with uh, two young men uh, with neuromuscular disease. They're on ventilators at home. They essentially have an intensive care unit in their house, and the mother's a working teacher. And somehow she balances all this in her life. And these, these boys have a life. They're watching Fox News, and uh, they're against Obamacare. Go, well, there's a lot of money being spent on your care at home. <laughs> so, but it's something we, but as a society, yeah. you know, we, we learn from them. We, we learn do. from these families, from the sacrifice. It, they, they give us understanding about what our own lives are are all about. Well, when we come back, we're going to take a closer look at some of these rare and genetic diseases and the technology offering new hope, yes, and a greater quality of life to patients and caregivers. So don't go away. We'll be right back. Well, hi everybody, welcome back. I'm here with Dr. Christopher Landon, Director of Pediatrics at the Venturi County Medical Center and advocate of Hill-Rom, a leading provider of medical technologies. We're talking about rare and genetic diseases and I just wanna get right to this, the seriousness of these and how it affects families. Well, for example, one is cystic fibrosis. Mm -hmm. One in 20 people is a carrier of the gene. They meet that other one in 20 and about one in well, four of their children will have cystic fibrosis. This is a, a progressive disease, thickening the mucus in the chest. They uh, die a pulmonary death. They drown literally in their own mucus. And uh, some 25 years or so ago, Hilram, uh, uh, who now owns the VEST system, uh, came up with a way to get the mucus out with high frequency chest wall oscillation. And it really allowed the parent finally to have a little freedom and for the child to have some control of their, over their own lives and to spend less time in the hospital, less time out, out of the home. Uh, right now we're screening for it uh, at birth in most of the states uh, so that at birth we can now identify children with cystic fibrosis and get all these therapies going earlier. So what medical technology is there available for patients who are in need of regular airway clearance therapy? Well there's the VEST system as, as we've spoken about. In hospital, they can bring their VEST system into the hospital, and oftentimes the hospitals themselves have them. Some 10,000 patients a day are using them. But in addition, they've developed the MetaNeb system. This uses pulses of air uh, to help mobilize the secretions, getting those thick secretions on up and out. It also allows them to aerosolize medication as well and get it deeper into the lung. So that now it can be part of their life two and three times a day. They can help it. it you brush your teeth. 
That's and they great. need to brush their lungs. They need to get that mucus out, that infected mucus well, out. Well, what we were saying is that before, they were so dependent on their parents. And at a certain age, a child wants some freedom. They, they don't want to be, you know, this vest really gives them that freedom. Well, it gives them that freedom. And, and now, when I started in this, uh, kids lived to age two with cystic fibrosis, wow. and then 12, and 19. And now they have lives. They're not, they're not a someone with cystic fibrosis, they're a person and they have a disease, it's called cystic fibrosis, but they have a life to live. Are there other mobile al alternatives out there? Well, uh, there are some things that require uh, coordination. And so for our children with neuromuscular disease, another problem, right. uh, for them, they can't coordinate these things. Our children with severe cerebral palsy and uh, other, other inherited genetic diseases where they can't manage a cough. And so they're, <coughs> All the time. And you can feel mm -hmm. that mucus in their chest. And so, again, it allows them some freedom. And, and my, my girls are now young women and getting married. My, my boys are now young men and getting married. And they have an independence then from, from not having to depend on their husband or their wife for that. And are Hillroms the Vest Airway clearance system, are they available to anyone? Yes, there's over 24,000 physicians who prescribe it, over 124,000 patients with it in their home. And every day in the hospital, over 10,000 patients are using it. This is, you know what, shake my hand. You've changed <laughs> the way we can treat this disease. Thank you so much for joining us today. It's just such a pleasure to know that this kind of work is ongoing. And I just want to say at the Balancing Act, we stand for the cure. Join us weekly as we continue to look behind the mystery of rare and genetic diseases. There is hope, and it starts with awareness.